All right, you guys, back again with, with a sad a story. You guys may know this actor, you may not. Um, headlines, breaking news from TMZ, it says, Walking Dead, Moses J. Mosley, dead at 31. Cop suspects he took his life. You know, I can't say the word, so I'll just say he took his life. And it says here, law enforcement sources tell us at the time, Moses' death is being investigated as a, pet, a, a possible, you know, he took his life. Moses Moses J. Mosley, famous for playing one of McConey zombies in The Walking Dead, has died at, at just uh, 31 years old. And cops are investigating the circumstance surrounding his death. A family member tells us the family found Moses' body Wednesday in the Hudson Bridge area of Stockbridge, GA. The bridge covers a freeway where uh, we are told there is currently an active investigation into how the young actor's body ended up in the area and whether or not foul play was involved. A family member tells TMZ they hadn't heard from Moses since Sunday of last week. They called around to hospitals to no avail. On Wednesday morning, they filed a missing persons report. Then they contacted OnStar, which tracked the car, and that's where his body was discovered. That is so sad. The family member tells us Moses died of a gunshot wound, but investi investigators are working to find out who pulled the trigger. Yeah, and it says here that Moses, a little info about him, Moses got his big break on The Walking Dead from 2012 to 2015. As one of McCorney's zombies that followed her around. He also made appearances on Watchmen on HBO and was in Hunger Games Catching Fire in 2013. Now I'm not I'm not gonna um, lie, I'm not really familiar with who he is. And I did watch Walking Dead, but I don't think I finished the season. Um, but if he was in zombie form the whole entire time, then I wouldn't have recognized him. But um that's besides the point. The reason why I did this story, it just got my attention because he's 31 years old. I'm 31 years old. And I guess they're thinking it's, it's more so leaning towards, I guess he's uh, maybe uh, took his life because, you know, that's what they're uh, uh, investigating as, uh, as a possible one, uh, you know, as a side. I can't say the word, but um, um, but he is also a possibility that foul play could have been in hand. I will say this uh, regardless it just it just seems like lately you've been, we've been constantly hearing about people taking their life. Uh, you know the the last story I did was with uh, Regina King. Uh, was it Regina King? Uh, I don't want to get it wrong. Uh, it was an actress son who took his life. Took his life. Oh, I, I had her. I, yeah, I think yes, it was Regina King. Her her son took his own um, life. But I've been hearing like it just seems like every time I scroll in on Facebook, Instagram, it's someone who's taking their life, and it's just it's just sad to hear that. And it just goes to show how uh, if this because we don't know for sure with this situation, but it seems to lean that way. But um, if that is the case, it's like <sighs> people are so quick to make that decision to to do that to take their own life and you know we only from what i heard we only got one life to live and to be so young and possibly take your own life like that's you know i can't sit here and really judge because like i've already said before i've been in that situation where i wanted to um i, I thought about it and I, I understand how it get, and I'm pretty sure a lot of us probably do. I, I, I think a lot of people deal with mental health issues and, and struggles, and some may be worse than others, obviously. But um, you you don't know what was going on in this young man's life, but that just goes for anybody. If you just, I can't stretch this enough. Like if you know anybody who's struggling and, and going through something, uh, try just try to do your part and help as much as you can. Because again, we all have our own lives and things going on, but. If you can reach out, help, show love, always try your best to be kind to people. And uh, it, it's just, I mean, what can you say in situ? It just always bothers me when I when I see stories like this because I I don't allow I don't allow my depression to consume me anymore. Like it just doesn't consume me like that. No, I have my days when I get depressed and really stressed out and whatnot, but I I just do things to 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 lift my spirits whether it's listening to music that helps me out 
uh, whether even even me just singing or humming to myself, that tends to somehow somehow lift my spirits. Do something that really excites me, but that but that doesn't uh, mess with my health in any kind of way. Because you know, some people were smoking smoking that weed and drinking too much. That's I don't I don't think that's good for you. Even weed, I don't think constantly smoking it all the time isn't necessarily good for you. I know the weed here might be in the comment section and feel some kind of way, but I'm just saying I just don't think if you needed weed every single day, I don't I don't think that's really good for you either. But I just just find some type of activity, something that you can do to to lift you up uh temporarily go and also most importantly go seek help talk to someone um uh but yeah yeah that i don't i such a young life man 31 and i'm 31 years old that's just wow you got your whole life ahead of you but if that's what's happened if that did happen that he took his life it's just sad and, and unfortunate and um uh there's there's always it's always the light at the end of the rainbow. I always feel like there is something you can do to turn it around. So before it's too late, please turn it around before you uh, can no longer hear your conscience. Because your conscience helps keep your life. Your conscience says, keep your head up. You can make it. So if there's something you can do while you're still in your right mind enough, just go for it. You know, try to seek as much help as possible. Um, but yeah, that's all I have to say on on. On that, um, rest in peace to, uh, Moses G. Moses.